Queens, welcome back to another video and we're doing a haul today. As you can see, we're still not in the house. Just keep your fingers crossed for us. Um, so this is a haul. This is a, I don't have any of my belongings except winter clothes and I need pieces that I can wear right now. Haul, that's what this is. It's a mix of highs and lows again. That's what this is, this is like, I wanna say essential slash basics because it's kinda like, I'm trying to only buy things I can really mix and match that will go with almost anything. I can wear it obviously multiple times a week because this is all I got right now because most of the clothes that I brought with me for this move or the in between the move were all winter clothes. It was February, so these are like spring essentials, spring, summer essentials and some statement pieces. Let's just get into it. This video is in partnership with Urban Revival. Woo! I'm gonna be working with them a lot throughout the year. I'm super excited because I love curating all of the best pieces for you guys. I find it super helpful. I know the website is just a lot. There's so many options. So I like to curate my selection. So I'm gonna be doing that a lot more. So stay tuned. And I said last time that was like my favorite haul from them. This might be up there with the, with the last one, um, mainly because these are all things I literally need to wear every day. Says. So without any more rambling, um, everything will be linked below if I can link it. I know some of the like luxury pieces and outlet pieces, maybe not, but if I can find them online, I will link them below. We'll start with what I'm wearing and I'll put up the full outfit on the side of me. Um, both of these pieces are Urban Revival. We're gonna start, sure if I have a discount code, if I do, It'll be on the screen right here and it'll be in the description box. Um, but again, all these pieces are pretty affordable. Um, this full outfit is Urban Revival. This little vest, you know, I love a tailored piece. I love a blazer and I felt like this was perfect for spring, summer because like today it's like 75 degrees. I plan on wearing this today. Um, so this is great because I won't be hot, but I can still get that tailored look. It's basically a vest. They are doing some amazing things with the sculptural button details. I feel like every time I get pieces from them, one of the items has this like sculptural cool button detail. It's very Scaparelli. Um, and I don't have a tan blazer actually. So it's kind of filling a void. I'm trying to be very intentional with everything I add. Even though I need clothes, I still don't want to like do multiples in my closet and I want them to still fill a void. So I don't have a tan blazer at all. And I also don't have like a sleeveless kind of blazer vest situation. So I love this. I got it in a size six. I always say size up one size. One, because shipping can take a while and you don't have to want to send things back or do exchanges. Um, and two, I just think their clothes run a slightly, like a little small. So this is a size six. And then I have on these white jeans, which I also don't I have white jeans. Actually, these are like cream. These are like a creamy off white, which I don't have. And they are like cuffed at the bottom. And they're kind of cropped, so keep that in mind. I'm five, three and a half. Um, and these hit right at my. Let's do bottoms first. I got two pair of jorts, long shorts. I don't know why they're called jorts. Jean, jean shorts, I guess. But they're basically just like longer shorts. I got a leather version or a faux leather version. Um, these are super cool. I imagine these like dressed up. This is giving me very like sex in the city, like a little bitty crop top or like a little spaghetti strap top or just a very girly dainty top. And then these, I sized two sizes up. So I got these in the 29, I'm pretty sure. Um, Cause I wanted them to be a little more low rise and a little like very relaxed and very like almost like an oversized jean. That's the look I'm going for. And then like a very high strappy sandal. I can't show you this look because I don't have any <laughs> strap your sandals with me. But that's what I'm envisioning in my head. Um, you know, a little, very like dressy, almost like going out kind of top. This would be a cute brunch look or a cute like going to like a bar, have a cocktail kind of thing. Not too dressy, kind of cool. That's what I imagined with these. And same thing with the denim ones. You could do the same look. I feel like the denim ones, you could also like dress down. Like this could be like a good, just like running errands, going to the grocery store kind of look also, but with a cute little like t-shirt tank top and maybe like some dad sandals or some chunky sandals, something like that. Like the Jill Saunders sandals. That's the vibe I'm thinking. God, I miss my clothes, but <laughs> that's the look and like a big hobo bag. That's what I'm, that's what I'm envisioning with these. Um, yes, I got a 29. So I got a 29 in both of these and they fit exactly how I was thinking. Um, and I love this wash. It's kind of like a good medium wash. And also this faux leather. So that, that is what excites me so much. I feel like every order I get from Urban Revival, the quality gets better and better. And that is very important to me. So 
those are my jorts <laughs> also in addition right filling a void i don't have any of those i feel like this is a great way to also try a trend um so i am trying to be mindful i don't want to have once i get my clothes i don't want to have a bunch of like repeats and trying to replace things that i just wish i could wear I'm trying to stay away from that however <laughs> this is probably the thing i think you all will be most excited about because this is similar to something i already have but a different color because we're shopping smart this is a denim cargo skirt and this might be the best thing i've ever found on urban revival it is very similar and not like shockingly similar to the attico skirt so you guys know the attico cargo pants i have a few pairs of those i also have an attico skirt i don't wear it that much because it's kind of like a tie-dye effect so it's just not as easy to wear all the time this is very similar like the, the cargo ness of it is very perfect i don't have a black denim skirt i do have a lot of black skirts um, but i have like black either just like knit cotton or i have like a black leather skirt this is like a wash denim um, i would size up one size i got this in a 28 it fits perfectly it is and i feel like it's not super short so if you're tall i feel like you can still give this a try <sighs> I'm a skirt girl. I love a mini skirt. You could do it with, I like to do something just like a, with a little more coverage on top. Depends on how I want to wear it, but you could wear this with like a dressy top, some strappy sandals. You could wear it with like some boots if it's still a little cooler where you are and like a light sweater. You could do it with a tank top and some sandals, flats. You can do anything. Speaking of colored denim, I got this super cute skirt and this reminds a shirt. Um, this reminds me of another denim shirt I have. It was like a dark denim, it buttoned up and it kind of like had an hourglass effect. This is very similar to that, but more of like the spring summer version. It's a lighter weight denim and it feels like a washed denim, almost like chambray-ish. It's like soft, very soft. And I love this. Pink is one of my favorite colors when I wear color. The sleeves have this also like curved detail to it and then it does the same thing it kind of goes in in the waist i love shirts like this they're just easy button-up shirts are easy in general but this has so much detail with like the arms and like the kind of like nipping in of the waist it's super flattering and i think this color is really pretty on all skin tone so i was very excited about this this is super cute with like the jorts or you could do it because it's long sleeve i'd probably do it with like some shorter shorts you could also do it with a little skirt this would be great with like some linen pants you could also leave it open and do like something underneath this is a good versatile piece <laughs> and i don't have i think i only have one denim shirt well i have the dark denim shirt from urban revival and then i have a light denim shirt that's more of like a chambray so again just trying to be thoughtful with like what i'm adding so i thought this pop of pink would be fun and i could wear it all spring and even into the fall so absolutely love this and i got this in a size medium everything is like a size medium or a size six i'll say otherwise if it's not speaking of going out tops this little top is so freaking cute this is like a crop top again the quality this reminds me of kate um like this little detail it has like this little sheen it's stunning and it fits my boobs like i thought my boobs would kind of like spill out of it or like the just little cup part would be too small or it would just look odd because i have bigger boobs and it doesn't it's super cute and i think i imagine this was like a wide leg pan or like some oversized jeans or relaxed jeans something like that or even just like a um tailored pant like a nice wide leg oversized tailored trousers something like that this does go off the shoulders it stays it's it's just so dainty and feminine this is a great little going to dinner outfit date night kind of outfit also you could you know dress it down you know i love a little top big pants and a little top so you could do oversized pants and some chunky sandals and wear this for like a little casual fit or shirt and then i have some dresses this i have wanted this is kind of like a pussy blow pussy bow blouse um that has like the tie it has like very long ties you could tie up make a really cute bow just a white cotton poplin shirt um but i've wanted the, one of these for a while and it's been hard to find one at a decent price point, I would say. H&M um, had one with like, one of their like special collections and it sold out before I could get to it. So I was really happy when I found this. This is just a classic timeless piece and it's something I've been looking for. So that's a win, a win-win. Um, and again, it's a size medium and I know I can wear this all year round. 
that's always a goal. And then lastly from Urban Revival, I got dresses because I just love a dress in spring. A dress, a cute bag, some sunglasses, and a chunky sandal. You're done. You can walk around, you can look cute, but you're comfortable and this dress, this is my favorite one. I already wore this. I wore it yesterday. No, I wore it Friday. Um, it's just comfortable. Again, it nips in at the waist. I love that. It has coverage on the sleeves. So if you need to wear a bra, you can. You know, I didn't wear one, but I absolutely love it. And then it has like this little white detail at the bottom. It's again, just comfortable, easy, very lightweight fabric wear. This dress I'm very excited about because this reminds me a lot of a Kate dress that I was interested in. And I just, because of all of the detail, I knew I wouldn't wear it as much as like that last dress and I just couldn't justify it. So when I saw this, I was very excited. It has this ruching, which I love, but then it has the pleating at the bottom. And again, this type of detail is not easy to do. Like, it feels like butter, but it's also like multiple layers, just very well made. And same kind of like, same kind of like off-white color that I'm wearing. And this is the ultimate spring dress. I think this is just so chic and easy. This is a great like, all of these dresses are great like shopping, lunch, walking around a lot, kind of take you anywhere type of outfits. With the other dress, I threw a jacket on over my shoulders because it was a little cold. Like these are all easy outfits. And I don't have, I have a lot of black dresses like this, but I don't have any cream ones. So again, good addition that won't replicate anything I already own. And then last dress is this, you guys, you know, I love black, you know, I love neutrals. So this is combining both neutrals and it has pockets. This is a very like elegant, but also casual in my head, black flip flops, black sandals, nice bag, sunglasses. We're done. I love the trim again, wider shoulders. Um, so you can wear a bra if you need to. And the print is on the front and the back, which is super important to something looking elevated. So was very happy about that. And then the last thing from Urban Revival, I could not resist these sandals because I obviously have no sandals with me, but I also don't have any cream sandals. And I was on the fence about getting the Jill Sanders chunky sandals in white. I have them in black, but I was going to get them in white. And then I saw these and I said, you know what? I think this will do. I think this will do. These are from Urban Revival. They're stunning. Again, more of that sculptural detail. These are super soft, very comfortable. They have like a little heel, so you get a little height, but most importantly, they have like some cushion here. They're not like so flat to the ground that your feet are gonna be hurting. I need a little support. Um, and I got these in a size 38, so I would say they're true to size. These fit exactly perfect. And I just think they're so chic. So chic for summer, love the square toe. Very, very cute. And that same off-white, literally it's the same white as all of these. I love that it's not stark white though. It feels just a little easier to wear. So those are all of my pieces from Urban Revival. That was quite the spiel, but I got some good pieces. Um, and again, if I have a code, <laughs> I will put it here and below, but I will link everything that I shared. If I find any other favorites or goodies that look like something you guys would love, I will also link it in the description box. Now let's get into the luxury pieces, there's far less. All right, the first luxury piece, you all will be very happy to hear that I went back and got this coat from the last haul video um, with the gold on it. I was having FOMO, you were having FOMO for me. This is from Dries Van Noten. Ugh, they make my favorite coats. Um, and I tried this on at Saks. I told you the Saks in my area is just, it's not the best. Um, it's just, it's not very busy. So in turn, they have a lot of things that go on sale. So the last time I was there, I found the Loewe dress. They had Valentino dresses. They had racks and racks of things. And I tried on this coat. I'll pop it up um, in that video. But I was like, you know, it's already spring. I don't need a coat. I mean, I'm a huge proponent of buying like coats in the summer and just saving it and, you know, getting a discount. But right now I'm like, I just don't even have anywhere to put it. I'm just going to put it in all the stuff I'm, you know, lugging around from place to place. <sighs> but then after I watched that video, I was like, God, that coat's gorgeous. And I just happened to be going back to the mall and they still had it. They had like one rack left. Like the first time I went, it was probably like 10 racks. They had one rack left and they still had this coat and it was still my size. So it was above me. It was above me. I obviously had to get it. Um, it's a size 38. Fits amazing. I would highly recommend checking online. And then luckily when I bought it, we had a cold day the next day. <laughs> so I at least got one wear out of it before it's officially spring. Um, accessories. 
Um, I did get this. I've only gotten one bag in like the last few months because I, I don't need any bags. But this is something I wanted as soon as I saw it and I've been trying to get it for months. Um, this is the Bottega Andiamo Clutch. And again, I, it fills the void, um, especially since I've been back in DC. I'm going to more dinners and just more evening night things. And I have a lot of day bags. Most of my bags are day bags or like, you know, just like cool kind of funky bags or they're just bigger bags. So I was looking for something that was just a little more evening, but also that could fit things. Like when I saw this, I was like, that is perfect. I wanna be able to put my phone in my purse for once. Um, uh, another accessory, or well, shoes, are these Ferragamo heels, which I also have wanted for a long time. I wanted them when I saw them on the runway. And then I went to, I don't remember what the, I think they were launching sunglasses. There was some event I went to in New York. You probably, you probably remember, it might've been during Fashion Week because I went with my row. I don't remember what it, when it was though. Um, but I saw these shoes on display and I was like, oh my God, I need those shoes. They look so good. In my mind, I thought these were gonna be really uncomfortable. They are one of the most comfortable heels I have. Um, but also, I found a Ferragamo outlet here. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> because I was shocked when I found it. I've been to the outlets here before. They're like in Leesburg. So this Ferragamo, I guess it's fairly new. But these were there. And when I went into that store, I almost lost my mind. These have already been worn multiple times. Speaking of <laughs> animal print, I also got this jacket because I, you know, need some spring jackets. Um, you know, it's, it's that in between season and I just have uh, fur coats and big coats and I have my YSL jacket, but I have that, it's getting tailored right now, anywho. I saw this and you know I love jackets like this. I have a few from Urban Revival that are, I have like a black one, I have a black and white one. I love this kind of like cropped jacket. It's not really a blazer, it's not really a coat. Um, these look really nice with like jeans and pants and, and when you just wanna look a little more dressed up, a little more put together. And I have been going into Celine and trying on different versions just to see if it feels like it's worth the price point. And every time I'm like, mm, it's just not special enough. It's just not doing enough. It's just not. And then I saw this one hanging in the window and I said, now we're onto something. <laughs> and um, I knew immediately. I got it in a size 38. It fits great. It's so lightweight. Um, it's a Great, great quality, of course. Um, but this, I'm very happy with it. Very happy. I can see myself wearing it all spring, but obviously, of course, summer and into the winter. And I already can see myself wearing this like as a travel look with like some trousers, little sneakers. You see it. You see it. Okay. And then the last two things are just things that I got from the Ferragamo outlet. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw this full suede look, which I feel like is like my 90s dreams. It's just so like, it reminds me of like waiting to exhale, like what Whitney Houston would have worn or like, I don't know, Lila Rashawn. It's just so chic and just so timeless. It's this long midi maxi skirt, kind of maxi on me, but I think it's supposed to be midi. And then the matching jacket. And when I wore the jacket, I zipped it up and then I unzipped the bottom zip just to make it a little cooler. I had like, I went to New York and had like some meetings one day and I wore this full look with these shoes <laughs> and it was stunning. It was stunning. Again, this was 40% off and an additional 20% off at the Ferragamo outlet. I almost lost my mind. And then I saw this outfit as well while I was there. And I almost bought this from the store when it first came out. And when I was in New York, this is a little red mini skirt and a matching blazer. I did get the blazer um, altered, just FYI, if you're interested in something like this. Uh, Cause I wanted it to hit where it's supposed to hit, like on the model where it hits. So for me, I'm five, three and a half. So I cut it a little bit. So it's like a little longer than the mini skirt, but initially it was like almost to my knees. <sighs> Gorgeous. Red is really my color. I'm, I'm coming to terms with it after years of working at Target. I hated the color red. <laughs> But I'm coming back around to like, wow, this actually looks good on me. Um, this again was 60, was 40% off and then an extra 20% that day. So I think everything is normally 40% off around that price, 30 or 40% off. But this was just too good to pass up, like too good to pass up. 
And that's the haul. Let me know what was your favorite, what you're interested in. Let me know what you think of the Urban Revival pieces as well. I will link again everything below. And hopefully the next video is a house tour. Cross your fingers for us. <laughs> Say a little prayer, cross your fingers and your toes for us. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.